Hey guys, Lee J2502 here, and this is something I am hugely excited about. Um, I've been hoping to do this for a long time. I've been saving the money up for a long time as well, and thanks to YouTube, I've been able to finally get this, and I thought I would get this for the channel. Um, this is something that's kind of probably towards the more expensive side of Noble Collections items, and you'll see why, I hope, um, if everything is fine. So what we'll do is we will just kind of, I don't even know where to start right, okay. Um, I was going to do this like tomorrow on Sunday, but it's about, yeah, it's about almost 1am just now. And I thought I would do this now because I cannot wait. There we go. I think this actually arrived in the post, like couple days ago but I missed the delivery so I had to go pick it up from the depot and yeah so I'm hoping everything is fine in here I might just I'm not even doing anything am I all right I'm gonna open it from this side this is the slughorn hourglass which I have wanted for such a long time I'm not actually sure how long I've been wanting it for Maybe over a year now, I think, maybe? I'm not even sure. So, but thanks to YouTube, I've been able to get this. Uh, with the increase of subscribers, you know, the increase of views, uh, I've got a bit of extra money coming in, so I thought I would get something I've wanted for a long time for the channel. And this is that. So I will move this. And yeah. Everything seems fine, like it's covered in bubble wrap and stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume everything is like perfectly fine for this. So doesn't seem to be any damage, which is good in the depot for I think it was in the depot for just one night. So this is uh, what you'll be getting if you decide to buy this. There is a bump on the box just here, but that's about it. Uh, move this out the way. I'm actually going to go around the side as well now. Right, so I'll stand it up. And here we are. Get this out of the way. And uh, make sure the box is still in frame and stuff like that. Yeah, so this is just beautiful. Um, I've wanted this for such a long time, I really have. Just, it's one of my favorite pieces that I looked at, I saw on the site and I thought, I need this. So, uh, yeah, we'll crack it open. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so we can just take this bit off, I believe. Yes. Can we? Yeah. Up. Wow, this is stubborn. There we go. Right. Okay. Now we can move it down this way. Um, open this end. Good. No, that's all right here. And I will show you the inside of the box as well, like how it comes packaged and stuff. I'll put this little um, sleeve, I'll call it, down the side. Okay. This may prove kind of tricky actually because it's quite big. Wait, I'll open it up a bit. So, very, very, very carefully, you get the styrofoam just as soon as you open the box. So it's a box within a box within a box, basically, so far. And if I lift this out, no, careful, move this slidey over, move this box, 
out of the way. Right. So, uh, should I bring this camera a little bit? I think I might. I don't know. I'll bring it a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, so, because I don't know what size this is going to be compared to the size, that, you know, I think it said it was about 20 inches or something like that. So, from 20 centimeters, how big? Hang on. Uh, oh, 10 inches tall. Hourglass measures 10 inches tall according to this right here. Where is it? There we go. 10 inches tall. So, uh, yeah. I, I can't actually remember when the release date of this was because I'd like to think it came out when the um, Half Blood Prince movie came out, but that was 2009. And I don't think it's been out since 2009, but I could be wrong. So if anyone knows, let me know when the release date of this was because I genuinely have no idea. Uh, is this? I don't know, let me check once this is done. If things are still good on this end as well because I just have to keep checking as well. Okay, right. So we will lift this up. Oh dear, styrofoam. Annoying. Wow, okay. Right, so foam, foam and foam. Okay, so very gently I'll show you what you get here. You seem to get it surrounded by foam, which is very, very nice. So there was a top bit. Oh should I? Okay. Top bit here on top that protects it. Um just on top. So uh yeah, as far as I can tell it's pretty well covered you know pretty well protected in it as well it should be because it was expensive and it's like made of glass so uh let's get this out here i'm not even sure where to start for here um should i just take it out like this there it goes to go out outside in we'll work from the outside in Lots and lots of um, foam to protect it, which is very, very good. Right, so we will put this package in a way and focus on this beautiful, beautiful thing. Right, so I'm going to cut this so it's a bit more uh, focused, really, into the actual hourglass, so I can concentrate on that now. Okay, right. Okay, so this is the hourglass and as you can see it is gorgeous i'm gonna move this out a little bit as well so you can see it can you can you see the sand trickling down i'm not even sure so if i just i'll move this upside down as well just so you guys can see hopefully the sand trickling downwards can you see it it is there i promise you <laughs> uh you can probably see it I don't know, there's a little green line just about here going down. But yeah, I mean this is gorgeous, it really is. This cost about 120, 130 pounds. On, um, I got this from Amazon, but through Noble Collection as well. They sold, they have a store on Amazon. They have a, they sell things on Amazon as well as their site. So I just got that, I just got this from the um, Amazon store and I am really happy. Ever since I saw this in the film Half Blood Prince, I thought this is just beautiful. I've always wanted this hourglass, and well, now I have to find a place to put it. <laughs> uh, I wonder if, like, I mean, it's so well packaged as well. Like, so much like thick foam as well. Thick foam t on each side, top, bottom, left, and right, and styrofoam as well. And like two different cardboard, no, one cardboard box in a grey bag and styrofoam. And even more foam so there is no doubt whatsoever in my mind that this has been well taken care of on its way to me really so i wonder if i just give it a bit of a shake well, maybe maybe i'm not even sure just yeah, just get the sand there we go just a little bit more level and it's i'm very happy with this uh this yeah the sand is still going down i just remember seeing this in slughorn's office um, thinking I really hope Noble Collection make a replica of this. I, I'm very glad I did. Please let me know if you know when this was out 
like when I've got stuff from here if, if you know the release date for this because I would be interested to know um, right off the top of my head I don't know but I'll put this back a little bit so you can really really see and bring it back a little bit as well don't fail me now camera okay that's probably I'll try to focus a little bit as well uh, yeah so this is gorgeous quite simply I'm going to be putting this, and it's kind of Slytherin colours, and I am a Slytherin. <laughs> I've got to just find a place to put this now, and I don't think it'll be too much of a challenge. So I would definitely recommend getting this, and I'll just put this in front of it as well, so you can kind of see the packaging as well. Proper good look at the packaging, so... Um, if you want to slide over here, buddy... I'll, yeah, I'll pick you up over here, and I'll put this... Push this back keep you into focus for the thumbnail or something, I don't know. But, um, Nova Collection, did it send the release date on here maybe? Um, don't think so, Professor Slopper and Zara Glass, no. But yeah, I am glad I was able to get this, I thank you guys for helping me get this as well, because if it wasn't for the new subscribers due to the Fantastic Beasts wand video, the unboxing of all five wands. I don't think I would have been able to get to get this so fast, but luckily um, I was able to get it. So I'm actually going to put this like right here and I might use that for the um, thumbnail. I don't know <laughs> if I just bring this in a little bit. There we go. So I am over the moon with this, I really am. I would recommend this to anybody, anybody to get this. And I really hope that you guys decide to go for it. If you can, like, um, it's a wonderful piece, it really is. And I'm just disappointed I didn't get it sooner. So yeah, uh, at the time of this recording, it's like Saturday night going into Sunday morning. So I will probably upload this Sunday, Monday, I'm not sure. So I hope you guys, uh, have a good weekend. I have had a good weekend. It, I was my it's my daughter's birthday, so I'm in an even better mood. So, <laughs> right, I better get going. But I thank you for watching. And wait before you go, uh, I thought I would just show off the actual detail of the snakes because I was in such a a state of shock <laughs> that I got these. I thought I would show off a just a quick view of the actual snakes and you know the actual thing itself because in the movie you don't get a proper look at it you get a distant look at it so this is the uh view of the snakes and i think that's like the snake's tongue all coiling together on the top yes um joining together a little bit and intricate little i don't know i would say that was maybe a floral kind of design for these um the snake here and I think it ends on like a little diamond pattern here with the tails and then obviously on the other side it's completely symmetrical I would say because you just flip it over and it's exactly the same on the other side so um, yeah I would definitely recommend getting this and I mean even it's got it's quite a weight to it as well quite a heavy piece so you're gonna have to uh, I don't know, find a good place to put it. <laughs> uh, like I am somewhere on the shelf, maybe if it fits. I don't think it will fit on the shelf, so uh, let's find somewhere else for it. But I like the, the weight of it, the look of it, just the feel of it. There's kind of crossed textures here, and yeah, I can't recommend this enough. I really hope you guys uh, pick this up someday, uh, like I was able to. Right, guys, I will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.